online at the moment, whether you're on Facebook or Twitter, and no matter what conversation or debate you get involved in, you notice a lot of people always bring up the, the factor of ego. People, we're on this planet, and while we're on this planet in this spacesuit, which people call the body, we're going to have ego. Ego has always been around and it will always be around. Um, many will state that we'll be able to control it. And finally, in a, in a world of utopia, we'll be able to be able to harness our ego for positivity. But ego in itself has an element of, of negativity. And that's the fact that it wants to feel superior. We need our ego. Our ego allows us to, to comb our hair in the morning, to brush our teeth and care about our, our, our body's hygiene, okay? But um, the whole facet of, oh, one day you watch, you know, there'll be no ego, I, I don't know about that, you know? And, and the thing for me is that maybe the simulator that we call Earth had ego involved for a reason, okay? And people should really start thinking about that because it's been here from our inception. I don't claim to know our whole history, okay? I know it goes further, way back, more than any elite history that's been published out there, that's put out there to, um, to control the masses. But ego in and in of itself has actually assisted us to get to this level too. So it's not a bad thing, okay? But in a utopian world where everything is fair and there's no money and let's say where everybody focus on um, raising your consciousness and um, learning stuff like um, art and uh, history and philosophy and mathematics and, and let's say we have that type of world one day, a full-on utopian world, ego will still be there. Because you'll have the, the chubby bald guy who will want to go out with somebody who's amazing and beautiful, a woman that looks like uh, the goddess Diana, you know. And I'm not saying that we can't resolve that, 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 that aspect of the human um, character and have that person trained that, hey, listen, it's just, you know, she doesn't really like you and this and that. But that's what's going to happen. So there's going to be a situation where when it comes to coupling up, because everybody will still want um, to have intimate relationships, sooner or later someone, someone is going to not be able to get that girl or some girl won't be able to get that guy and the ego will kick in and that's how the turmoil, turmoil will start again. And that's how the chaos will... will st I mean, my, how many wars throughout our history have been fought over a, a relationship, you know what I mean, over a woman or over a man, you know? And in everyday life, uh, it's all about relationships, you know. You get online, you, you get on mainstream TV, you go out in the cafe, you go to the shopping centre, and all everybody's got to talk about is uh, their relationship. You know, everybody's out for therapy, free therapy, you know. They're not willing to pay for it. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, so uh, ego is something that I believe is native to this simulator which i call earth and it most likely will always be here and sure we might be able to harness it and 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 after 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 years of of training get to a level where we can really control it but even then it's it's always going to be there okay so you know when you get online and everybody to throw around the ego word, oh, you're egotistical. Of course you're egotistical. We're all egotistical, you know. We've all got ego. We've got ego, you know. It's actually helped us to survive. The fact that we had ego when we were in the caveman days, and the Neanderthals or... Um, the, the ego was the, the thing that made us compete a little bit in order to do better than the other person to get the attention of another female or the female to get the attention of another male. Think about it for a second. 